It's a graphene flagship initiative that comes in direct response to the issue of the extremely low number of women that work in the graphene field. And the goal really is to support women in their careers in graphene, um, to hear each other's stories, to promote diversity. In a community mostly by men, usually only includes men. They talk about when they're having beer together, when they go having sports together, and uh, quite often female are not involved in this these kind of discussions. And uh, we have to make effort in such a way that uh, the world is combining the way the women are working and the men are working on equal footing. It's very important to have uh, more women in advisory boards, uh, in plenary sessions, in evaluation committees. This idea that Sana presented of silent information that really got, got people talking. Before any decision, before any kind of uh, announced information, there is huge amount of silent information, planning, preparing, all that, that people do together in groups where they are equal. I think it's also very important to have people as a reference and, and women as a reference in leading positions, people that has a positive attitude and passion for the work. Studies have shown that um, young women who have mentorship at points of change, such as promotional opportunities, the choosing where to go next in their career, end up being retained by science a lot more. I would say that the only way to broaden this kind of like diversity in gender balance, it is to influence high school students. That is the point where they make the decision where they want to go. The message for young women is uh, once they have decided to do uh, research, they have to fight. They have not to be um, afraid to be ambitious.